this friends and neighbors group. The group is for people to meet in friendship, whatever their background or religion. We come to listen and talk about our daily lives, and we hope you will you will find kindness here. We think different countries make the world a more interesting and exciting place. We look for the good in every person and country. We do not gossip or criticize each other. You do not have to speak. We listen and do not advise you about your life. Anyone friendly is welcome here. Can we sit quietly for a moment or two? To remember we are the people of the world. To live in peace. I thought of the idea that we ought to have little groups where people can meet together, local people and people of any nationality, and then uh, discussing it with different people, I thought, well, why confine it to that? There's no reason why anyone shouldn't come. It doesn't matter what their background is. It doesn't matter what their beliefs are. As long as they come in friendship, we decided we'd write a little constitution and we we put some different people onto the committee. In fact, at the early stage, we said anyone interested can be on the committee. And we sat and thought about it. And that's what came out. We sort of honed it. We came, we had came up with a, a statement and then we polished it and then we altered different little words here and there. Everybody had a go at it. And that's the final one we came up with, is that we'd like a, a fan in, in every village and town of every country so that anyone coming, uh, anyone who is lonely or a stranger that comes can say, where's the nearest fan group? And we'll be sure of finding a friendly face. My name is Beck Crosby and I'm a community development worker for Butte Town and Grange Town Regeneration Forum. So my job is to basically facilitate the community and to really help groups set up, find them funding, help the community come together and also to sort of develop anything that would benefit quality of life. So when I came across the fan group um, about six months ago, it was really a very unique thing. Um, and in some ways it's so simple that you can't even articulate it because what you get from it is actually an impartation of quality of life. You get all different types of people, you get um, old and young, you get different ethnic groups coming together, different religions, different thinkings, different philosophies, different types of personalities, but there's all one purpose why people come together because they're all looking for basic humanity, they're looking for kindness, friendship, conversation, um, and also a lot of educational stuff is needed too, like finding out about different people's religions and the way people live and, you know, their backgrounds, the countries they're from, their childhoods, all sorts of different things. So it does actually bring a whole load of people together to do something very unique, but it fulfills a basic human need. And that, it kind of gives off its own flavour. And that's what's really good about it. There's a lot of warmth in, in, the, in the groups and um, and I always feel happy, and any time I, I attend fan groups, I go home and happy. And I always look forward to to going to meetings. I, I just love the the range of ages, and it it's just such a it really builds. I think it really builds people to share their experiences and you know if you've had a rotten week then you know you can get it off your chest and be encouraged and I think it's a wonderful building and encouraging um, and something to look forward to every week as well. I think it really offers emotional support and I think that's a very big thing to offer. I think it's very interesting how often people say in our modern world when we are reasonably comfortably off and how lonely people are still or how depressed or how stressed and when you think of all the little things like a problem shared is a problem halved you only have to think it, people do say and it's true for me too I come along to a fan meeting and at the end of the hour I feel lighter I feel a different person going out because I've met love there people have been warm and friendly and loving and kind and I think that's, if we can spread that, that's quite well enough.
different fields, we're different cultures to one another because we have different jobs and different backgrounds and different educations. But if you speak to one, one another and you hear their heart, and you hear really what they're saying and feeling deep down inside themselves, you can cross all the barriers. How to start a fan group in your local community. Step one, find some friends who all think that starting a fan group would be a good idea. Step two, make sure everyone is clear about the format of a meeting and everyone is in accord with the principal values behind the fan groups. Step three, find a room to hold your meetings in, somewhere accessible for people, somewhere safe and warm. Somewhere with tea and coffee making facilities is an advantage. Step 4. Arrange a trial period between the core group and cover all the costs for this period. Once your weekly meetings are established, you can then begin to rely upon the facility fee and your fan group should become self-supporting. Step 5. Enjoy the warmth and friendship of all who come to the meetings. We hope you enjoyed this meeting. Remember what you liked and please forgive and forget things you do not like. We're all human and we sometimes make mistakes. We're glad you came. If you keep coming, we think you will feel the world is a more friendly place. We hope you take good feelings back to your homes and to everyone you meet. And have a good week. Thanks. Thanks.